guys, welcome back. So today I was reading through my comments on a different video and one of you asked if I would do a review of my Kipling bag. Here is my bag and I bought this last year at this time and I've used it every day since. And so I thought I would tell you a little bit about it and then also do a what's in my bag at the same time. So we'll do that first and then I'll talk about the purse afterwards. So let's get started. So here we go. Here is the front of the bag and the front has this nice pocket with the flap on it and it's got a magnetic closure. And the only thing I like to keep in here is just flat stuff, paper items, just because if you put too much in there, it, it starts to bulk out the middle and I don't want to take up all that room in there. So in this pocket, it looks like I've got a couple of hair ties. I have some antibacterial wipes. These are from Dollar Tree. I have a gift card to TJ Maxx and some e.l.f. blotting sheets and a Bath & Body Works coupon. That's all I keep in there is just basically coupons and flat paper stuff. On this side, the back pocket, it's just a zip closure like that. And it's usually always open because I will put my cell phone in here. Here's my case, but I'll just stick my phone in there when I'm walking around because it's just easy access. I love purses with pockets on the side for my cell phone. And the inside is right here, and then it's got these two pockets. And in this pocket, I keep my readers. I got these from Sam's Club a couple years ago. I quite like them. They came in a three pack, and they even came with these little holders. And then I have a makeup brush, and then a nail file. And then I have this really cute cat pin in this holder, and this little holder it works out great. But a sweet friend of mine gave me this. Her name's Charla Winterbottom, and I love this pen. I use it all the time. I keep it in my purse. It's a great pen. And here is a Dollar Tree lipstick. This is by LA Colors. I love this. This color happens to be Sorbet. And I've got another one that's kind of um, pinkish mauvish and then I have another one that's kind of terracotta color. I love these lipsticks. I'm wearing it now. This is the one I keep in my purse. I have another one in my bathroom and these are so moisturizing and the color stays on pretty well. It doesn't come off. I mean it doesn't wear off very fast. I really really like these lipsticks. It's crazy. A dollar. And then here is my Fresh Balsam Pocket Back from Bath & Body Works. I'm really picky about scents and I love holiday scents, especially the Fresh Balsam. So this is the only one that I have. I mean, I have a whole bunch of these, but it's the only scent that I have because I like it a lot. And then also here is another zipper. And in here, I just keep, I don't know, trinkets. I have this mirror here from Dollar Tree. This actually came with a mirror, a hand mirror. And so I keep this in there. I have some gum, a little nail file. I have a purse holder from Dollar Tree. I've used this many times. It comes in handy so much when I'm at a restaurant. I love it. Here's another pocket or moist wipe. Here's a little scissor that I got. I got this at World Market a few years ago and I love it. It cuts really well. I've used it many times, believe it or not. I'm so glad I have this in my purse. And you can even crack the tiniest little walnut in there. And it was a dollar. I don't think they have them anymore, but when I saw this, I had to have it because it was so little. 
I have dental floss. I always carry floss. I get these little freebies from my dentist. Here is another purse holder from Dollar Tree. This one is a little different though. This one's big, this one's not. I think this came from Dollar Tree, maybe not. In fact, you know what, I think I got this out of a catalog, like a Harriet Carter catalog a long time ago. But I always carry two in case a friend wants to use one as well. <laughs> I'm always prepared. Hold on, I need to change positions here. Oh, and then I have a Bianca breath strip. I got these at the Dollar Tree. These are strong. I forgot these were in here. These will knock your socks off. They are so strong and good. They're amazing. This is my mailbox key from my post office. This used to say my cat. I don't know, I got it at Yellowstone National Park. I don't, it's just, I don't know, I should, looks like it's cracked and everything. But this is my key for that. And then I have some lip balm and a paper clip and a placard and then this key I just keep in my purse it used to belong to my mom and stepdad's house this was their back door key but you know we've sold the key or, I mean we've sold the house and I just wanted to keep this key as just like a little good luck charm to keep in my purse or whatever you know, this was my childhood house key, and it's unique, and I love it, and it will always stay in my purse. And that is it. Oh, and I have another little toothpick. You can buy bags of these and bags of these from Dollar Tree. I love the plastic ones because they just feel better in your mouth. And I like these little brushes to go in between my teeth that have wide gaps. Okay, enough of that, sorry. That was total ramble right there. Here I have my purse, I mean my wallet. This wallet I really love. I I have other wallets and wallets that were gifted to me, which I really love, but this one is just so small. It's just a little billfold and it's really lightweight and it's perfect size for this purse. And I've had this for years and years. It was a gift. My work, when I worked at um, this insurance company, um, they gave these as um, client gifts. And so, of course, we all got some. And I, and I had two of them, and I don't know where the other one went, but I absolutely love it. This thing's probably 15 years old. It's nice and stretched out, and I love it. I keep my checkbook in there and everything. Let's see, I got some prescription meds in here. I should take those out so we don't see any info. Um, here is a microfiber cloth. I cut this off of a big washcloth that I had. I love these for cleaning my glasses, my sunglasses and my readers. Nothing cleans your glasses better than microfiber, I swear. And so I just cut a little piece off and put it in my purse and it works out perfectly and I love it and I use it all the time, all the time. Here I have some Vita Energy mints. These are awesome. This is a sample pack, but um, these are sugar-free and they're caffeinated breath mints. So. One mint has equals like a half a cup of coffee. I can't remember how much how much caffeine exactly, but I love these. You get a little pep of energy without having to drink coffee or anything like that. It, they, they really do work. And here is the little can if you buy them like this. I only have a couple left in here. But these guys reached out to me last year to review these for them, and I did, and I have a video on it. 
I love these. I need to order some more. I do. And here's a Kleenex. And in this, I love this little bag. It's as light as a feather. It's light as air. It's just a little mesh bag. I got it free from something. Oh, it's a Mary Kay bag. So there used to be a little miniature products in here, but this is so lightweight and it's so perfect to keep my, you know, I've got Zantac, nail clippers, um, a lorazepam and some Advil or an Excedrin. I have X-Lax. These are the little gas strips. I don't think they come in strips anymore. Very convenient though. Uh, hair tie. My awesome toothpicks from my friend Deb Deb. I still have them. These are the best toothpicks ever. They are so thin and pointed. I hoard them. I don't like to use them up because I don't have any more. Hair ties. More gas eggs. <laughs> So yeah. Oh, and then these are a little, I have a little baggie of Rolaids in here. I love, I love. This is a bag of moist wipes. I opened these up not too long ago and then realized later on that they were leaking from this part of the opening and so I put them in a bag but like everything was all wet I've had that happen before but so I just keep these in a baggie but I have to have moist wipes with me in my purse just for anything get you know I was at Dollar Tree the other day and something got on my hand I was sniffing something and it got all over my hand and so I got I was able to wipe it off I use these in the bathroom you know they're essential they are I need to have them they're a must more tissue here is my planner for this year I always keep a little planner I love these things and I I just always keep it in my purse however I haven't used it much this year I don't know why the last few years I've always had these things filled up but I guess I just don't have a life anymore so it's always pretty much blank but nice to have I keep a spork in here I got these from I have a whole bunch of these in my drawer um, these come with these yogurt parfaits that I get at my grocery store and you just flip it up and snap it into place and there's your spork and one time I was doing a mukbang from Taco Bell and they didn't give me a fork and I had nachos and so um, I had to use my fingers but now I don't have to do that because I always make sure I have a sport. In fact, I think my last mukbang that I did from Del Taco, I got nachos and I did use my spork because they didn't give me a fork. I always keep straws in my purse. I love straws. And sometimes restaurants won't give you any or they give you the paper ones and I like the plastic. So my husband never drink, uses straws. So when we go out and we get straws, I just take his and put it in my purse. And then this is just a pouch that I got from Dollar Tree. It came in a set of three. This one's the smallest. I like this one. It's plastic coated on the inside and I just keep just a few quarters in here in fact I actually have a couple gold dollars I should take these out and save them they're kind of rare and they're kind of heavy and then I just keep business cards and gift cards in here usually and let's see look at this mess this is Oh, there's my car key. I wondered where that was. This is candy and straws and sporks. This cute little bear is a little Boyd's bear. My mom collected Boyd's bears and she had a few of these little itty bitty ones and it's got movable joints and I have another one in a different purse. 
but um, I like to keep this in my purse just to keep my mom with me. It's just another little good luck charm. I just think it's so adorable. So this stays in all of my purses. And then, yeah, straws, spork, at least carry two sporks. And then all of this is candy because I sometimes need to have candy when I'm driving or whatever. I can't tell you how many times I'm out somewhere and I'm starting to have blood sugar plummet and I need some candy. So I just go to Dollar Tree and I buy some. So I got a lot of wrappers. Like when we went to the vet with my cat, we were sitting there for about two hours, three hours, and I was starving. And so these really came in handy. Now's a good time to clean out all the wrappers. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I have all sorts. I love Mentos. Okay, we're getting down to it, people. And then this also comes with a little key fob, which I never use. Anyway, so my gosh, that's, that's it. That is my purse. So yeah. And the inside is this nice tan color and I haven't had the need to wash it out. Nothing's leaked in here or anything like that. But, and this is like a really sturdy nylon. It's super lightweight. It comes with this cotton strap, which I love because it molds to your shoulder and it doesn't slide off because it's cotton and it kind of sticks to your clothes, you know? So I am no longer struggling with the strap trying to keep my purse on my shoulder. It's awesome. And this is the most lightweight purse ever. And I love the blue color. I haven't ever had to wipe it off because you can't see the dirt. I've had other nylon bags that are tan and without fail. I've got black scuffs all over it. I have no idea where it comes from. It's somewhere from my car. Um, I don't know if it's on the floor in my car somewhere because sometimes I'll put my purse on the floor or if it's rubbing up against the car and the dirt gets on it, I don't know. But this, if it has those marks on it, you can't see them. And this can just wash up nicely in the washer. I would probably air dry it. And the strap is um, adjustable. And it did come with a little monkey on it, a little blue monkey, but I don't like I'm not a big charm, purse charm fan. I like purse charms, I just don't use them very often and I didn't want the gorilla on this purse. So I took him off. But anyway, so let's fill this back up. I swear like everything in here is what weighs my purse down. It's the candy that weighs my purse down. But you just gotta have candy. So there's that. There's my straws. Here are my mints. Let's see. What do I, I usually keep this one on the bottom and then I'll put this. Let's put the little bear down in there. My sporks. <laughs> this, I can't believe I have all this stuff in it. I, do, I try not to put anything in my purse that's heavy because I do not like a heavy purse. And so believe it or not, the heaviest thing that weighs my purse down is my cell phone. And 
Let's put my stuff back in the pockets here. What was that? Let's see. Okay, that was that. Put my cloth in here. Let's see, my hand back that went over here. It doesn't really matter, I guess. I don't remember. I probably got it backwards. And the reason why I keep this in here is because I like to wipe makeup out of my cracks, okay? The cracks on my face. Oh, these usually go down at the bottom. I keep the things most used on top. Let's see. I'll keep this in the front pocket with all the rest. And I know these are nasty, but they're not used. They're just wrinkled up. I've got to always have Kleenex in my bag. I can't tell you how many times I've used, I've needed Kleenex. Put my medicine back in there. All right. So that is my Kipling bag. So up close and personal, this is my bag on my shoulder for size reference. Uh, I've got blue shorts on. I guess that wasn't a very good idea. But I like it to hang about here. But I can adjust it to be longer or shorter. And I have actually put it like this on days that I really need to. And it's quite comfortable. And here is like if I'm using my phone, I just go like that. And then I've always got my phone readily available. And I usually will have this unzipped while I'm walking around, if it's in a safe area. And I will just put my keys like just in one of these side pockets here. Just and then the zipper's fairly easy. Sometimes a zipper is hard to open. I mean, it's easy, but it's got these um, waves in it sometimes. And sometimes you're like, you know, you got to get it just right or else it sometimes gets stuck. And you're like, gosh darn it. But yeah, I love this bag. I can't remember how much it paid for it. If you go to my old video, just look up, just look up. Kipling Tracy B, it'll pop up. I think I paid like seventy or eighty dollars for it. I had I had a gift card, but and I was ranting and raving because it was so expensive for just a little bag, a little nylon bag. But it's really nice. It's held up wonderfully. It looks brand spanking new, like even the bottom. Of course, I don't really put my purse on the floor, but this is a great purse. I love it. I'm so glad I got it. And thank you to the subscriber who suggested that I do a review on this purse and also do a what's in my bag at the same time. This was fun. I think her name was Mrs. E. So thank you, Mrs. E, this was fun. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.